weather affects our lives in different ways. You must have seen that during summer when it is very hot, we switch on fans and ACs to keep ourselves cool and we wear light color clothes in order to reflect the heat and to stay cool. And during winter, we use dark color clothes and wrap ourselves in warm clothes to protect us from cold environment. And in similar way, during the rainy season, we use umbrella, raincoat as it may rain any time and to save ourselves from getting wet. The weather of a place changes day after day and week after week. It is quite a complex phenomena that may vary over a very short period of time. So normally we plan our daily activities based on the weather predicted for that day. So these are the daily reports of the weather that we can easily find on television or radio or in the newspaper. So this is the example of a weather report from a newspaper. So here you can find the weather report carries information about the temperature, humidity and rainfall during the past 24 hours. It also predicts the weather of the day. The prediction of weather is done by scientists who are called meteorologists who study the changes in weather. The science which deals with the study of weather is called meteorology. So the weather is predicted by studying the patterns of weather and what are the factors which are affecting the weather. In India, the weather reports are prepared by the Meteorological Department of Government. This department collects the data of wind speed, temperature, rainfall, etc. and then make the weather report. The weather is the day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere at a place with respect to the temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed, etc. So, humidity, rainfall, temperature, wind speed and other factors. These are called the elements of weather. Weather of a place changes day by day or week after week. That's why we often say, oh, today's weather is too humid or the weather was warm last week. Weather is quite a complex phenomena that it can vary over a very short period of time. It can happen sometimes that it is sunny in the morning but suddenly clouds appear from nowhere and it starts raining heavily or a heavy rain may vanish in a matter of minutes and give way to bright sunshine. Let's take a look at all the factors which affect the weather. So the first element of weather is temperature. We know sun is the ultimate source of energy and it provides light as well as heat on the earth. It is very necessary for the production of energy. The weather is mainly affected by the sun because it produces heat and increases the temperature. The heat from the sun is absorbed by the earth's surface, oceans and the atmosphere and these play a very important role in determining the weather of any place. So it is clear that change in weather is caused due to the sun because the changes occurring in the sun's heat will change the atmosphere more frequently. And the time of sunrise and sunset also changes throughout the year. Second important factor is rainfall. We know that water from all the water bodies evaporate and goes in the form of vapor into the atmosphere where these tiny water droplets condense and fall back on the ground in the form of rainfall. When the temperature is too low, these droplets in the clouds get freezed into crystal of ice and comes on the earth as snowfall. During winters, the temperature also falls after sunset causing the condensation of water vapors near the ground and these droplets hang in the air to form fog. An instrument is used to measure the rainfall. It is called rain gas. It is like a measuring cylinder with funnel capped on its top, which collects the rain water. The rain water collected in the measuring cylinder gives a measure of rainfall. And rainfall is generally measured in millimeter. So the third important factor is humidity. 
Humidity is defined as the amount of water vapor in air which causes dampness of air. We know that air has the ability to hold certain amount of water vapor. The capacity of air to hold water increases with rise of temperature and falls if heavy rainfall occur. The humidity is measured by the instrument called hygrometer. These are also called humidity meter and is used to measure the amount of water vapor in air. Fourth element of weather is wind speed. It is caused due to the difference in air pressure. We know that air moves from high pressure to low pressure and it usually occurs due to the difference in temperature. Wind speed is measured by a device called anemometer. It is used to measure wind speed and direction of the wind. It is a very important tool for meteorologist to study the weather patterns. Now we know that meteorologists record the weather every day and the records of the weather have been preserved for the past several decades. These help them to determine the weather pattern at a particular place. The average weather pattern taken over a long period of time like uh, about 25 years is called the climate of that place. Different places in the world have different types of climate. If we find the temperature of a place is high most of the time, then we say that the climate of that place is hot. And if there is also heavy rainfall on most of the day in the same place, then we can say that the climate of the place is hot and wet. The average temperature and rainfall of a particular place is recorded annually. It is called the climate chart. Now look at these two climate charts here. The first one is of Jammu and Kashmir and second one is a climate chart of Kerala. So look at the climate chart of Jammu and Kashmir. You will find that the temperature is quite moderate and it receives enough rainfall. So it shows that the climate of Jammu and Kashmir is cold and wet. Now look at the climate chart of Kerala. You will find that it is quite hot and very wet as it receives more rainfall. Now it is clear from any weather report that maximum and minimum temperature are recorded every day. Maximum and minimum temperature are recorded by using a special thermometer called maximum and minimum thermometer shaped glass tube which is filled with alcohol and mercury. The right tube gives the maximum temperature while the left tube gives the minimum temperature. The maximum temperature of the day occurs generally in the afternoon while the minimum temperature occurs generally in the early morning. That is why during summer we feel so hot and miserable during afternoon while we feel comfortable during early in the morning. Now we know there are so many factors which are responsible for weather and climate. Hope you learn something new today and enjoyed this learning. Thank you for watching and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe.